What's up guys, this is James for Escaping the Neon. Uh, Saturday morning, I'm all loaded up. I'm headed to the farmer's market. I'm running uh, fashionably late for where I would like to be, but I'll still be there in plenty of time to get set up. Uh, they just prefer I get there a little earlier than they want me there around seven o'clock. I'm looking more like, you know, 7.50, but market doesn't start till nine, so I got plenty of time. Um, anyway, so, um, I ended up going out last night. I had to run a few errands and uh, drop something off to a buddy. So he ended up meeting me out at the Clarksburg Tav. And uh, I did meet the woman who is supposedly going to be renting a, a warehouse space to uh, do her coffee. So she's, you know, small batch roasting uh, coffee blends. And uh, so basically, um, we had a great conversation. I told her what I was doing. Um, and that I wasn't really necessarily interested in roasting my own coffee at this exact moment. Um, but I was interested in buying roasted beans. Um, so she's actually going to come out to the market today and uh, kind of see what I got going on. She said she's going to try some popcorn, which is cool. Um, and then hopefully, you know, we can keep talking and maybe there's something there that, you know, maybe she'd be interested in uh, leasing a warehouse with, a, with me. Um, Anyway, so we got that going on, and basically I'm focused on the market today. Um, definitely had a slow week this week, but I'm like super pumped to be back out here at the market, uh, be able to get a little bit onto the positive side, um, as far as money goes at least, not mentality, always in a positive mentality. Um, but we're gonna get a little bit into the positives today, so that's awesome. Um, kind of a weird week, just because we didn't, didn't go last week, and. Uh, you know, just a slow week getting everything going. So, uh, but anyway, we still had a great, we still made great progress. Um, I did talk to the girl that I was going to do the um, farmer's market with at the storefront. And uh, she's like all gung ho about this uh, website, CSA style. Uh, so not having a storefront, just getting local goods and produce and meat, eggs, dairy and uh, putting it online and just doing like a pickup, you know, one day somewhere uh, near the town that we're basically trying to focus on. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for that. Um, she reached out to a few kind of, we'll just call them like big players in that town because it's a small town. So you know, there's a couple people that are basically running the show um, and own a ton of land there. So she reached out to a few of them. Uh, one of them is definitely interested and uh, we got a meeting with another guy uh, who just like super small world um, that's my coffee machine bashing around if you were wondering um, but super small world the guy I used to work with at the uh, commercial renovations company uh, and he was kind of my mentor there and taught me a lot of things until he retired um, there's a farm that happens to be in Poolsville that uh, his daughter and daughter's uh, husband own so it's kind of crazy uh, that this is the one of the places that my business partner reached out to and they've been doing CSA for a while but just produce uh, so we're going to talk to them about potentially adding the dairy in uh, you know and basically just offering a wider range of products um, hopefully under our name um, and then you know then we can kind of work and we can work our way up into a storefront you know like Right now, I just don't think it makes sense. I got so much going on and so many things that I can spend money on to grow this thing that to me, it doesn't make a huge amount of sense to, uh, you know, rent that storefront right now. Um, but, but doing this kind of online pickup or online order and then pick up, um, this could be great because this is going to kind of show us if we have a viable idea and if people are interested in like, sure, if, if we're killing it after a little while, I'm more than happy to rent a storefront, but but this will be a great test for kind of me and her business relationship. See how that goes, and uh, you know, just just have fun. That's what I'm trying to do here. So, and this seems like a fun way and like a good way to meet more people in the town without having to take that big risk of signing on a lease and uh, being responsible for the building. Even though I absolutely am going to get there at some point, um, without a doubt. Um, but yeah, I'm not there right now so um whoa there's my coffee thing banging around again i'm sure that'll be broken by the time i get to market so that'll be lovely 
Um, but anyway, yeah, so she's going to meet us out there, and I'm super excited, and we are still doing a terrible job with getting the coffee and popcorn websites together. Again, I got somebody coming out to photograph everything uh, early June, so about, you know, two, three weeks now, and um, that's really when I'm hoping to have everything together um, and get everything live kind of mid-June, and then really start pushing the website hard. Um, Another thing that I'm trying to get done is uh, meet with the guy that owns Jeppy Nut, who, um, who he's the one doing the private labeling for me. I'm gonna have to do a better job of just saying who these people are, so I don't have to say this every time. Um, but I'm meeting with the guy, or I would like to meet with the guy from Jeppy and kind of just get a tour of his store, uh, feel him out a little more for how he thinks that the private labeling for me is going, because he doesn't private label for anybody else. Um, I just talked to him about it and he was interested. Um, so kind of feel it out, see if I can start expanding uh, what I'm offering uh, through him and uh, see if I can find a way to go up there and use his facilities to pop my stuff because I really, really need that, uh, you know, FDA approved facility so that I can sell this whenever, wherever. Um, which reminds me, I've totally dropped the ball on the tins as well, but we're working towards it, slow process, but we're getting it done and uh, I have a feeling by the end of the year, we're going to be doing really well. So. Anyway, I hope you all have a great day. I'm going to try and get some shots at the market. Oh, another thing that I'm going to do is um, thanks to one of my buddies who I talked to last night. Um, he had actually suggested, you know, just shooting little TikTok videos at the farmer's market and while I'm popping and selling and that type of stuff. Um, just, you know, to gain a little bit of, uh, you know, people seeing what I'm doing here and, and hopefully getting some motivation of their own to do it themselves. Um, um, anyway, so yeah, um, I'm going to try and shoot some of those videos. I'll let you know how that goes. Um, I've never done a TikTok in my life. I'm sure it can't be that hard, but, but I thought that was actually a pretty good idea. Uh, and I had already started a TikTok account in, in hopes of doing that, but I, uh, never made a video. So I'm going to try and go ahead and shoot one of those today and just see how it plays out. So anyway, I hope you all have a great day. I'll probably check in at the market. Uh, get you guys some footage of what we got going on there. I know I've done it before, but we're improving every week. So uh, I'll get some get some shots of that. And uh, you all enjoy your day. Have a great one. Thanks. Bye.